Hey guys, what is up? It is Jim here. Today I have a new game for you guys, and it is the LEGO SP SMG9 from Rainbow Six Siege. So, this gun was recently added into Rainbow Six Siege with the operator Clash. Um, so I've heard a lot of people say that it's a pretty bad um, <clears throat> operator with bad guns and all that, and I'm not too sure myself since I haven't used uh, the operator, but... Um, yeah, I did want to make this gun just because it seemed like a quick gun to make, but for some reason it took me forever just because I had the Desert Eagle uh, still built. But uh, I did manage to make it, even though it does have its very obvious flaw, that it is um, almost as tall as the grip. So yeah, uh, anyways, let's just go over it. Here we would have the stock, uh, usually, where it would uh, swivel over. Or I guess in this case it would swivel over to the left side, um, because I do believe this is held in the left hand. I might be completely wrong about that. Um, as I said, I haven't played an operator or seen anything. So, um, <clears throat> we have this nice sloping here, I guess, and we have the charging handle. So, I actually have some indents here, uh, so you can actually grab it properly. Uh, I didn't have that on my last MP9. So you can grab it, and then it comes out, then you can release it. Uh, we do have a bolt catch here, so I'll show you that working. So you can see it's working in there, and it does crack a bit up because it does have quite the power. So you can see the bolt catch right there. Kind of just works like a standard uh, slide lock. So you can see this is completely loose now, so I can do whatever I want with this. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it forwards and then pull down. And then it releases. It's that simple. And still really effective. Here we have the standard charm mount, which every gun in Rainbow Six Siege has. The rear sight, which this gun in game is equipped with a red dot sight constantly. You can't change change that. Um so it's gonna be stuck on mine as well, but you can just rip it off and then you can look at the sights. So I'll do that since I have already built the sights so there you go nothing too special but it's something so that's just the view down it uh, but it does look really good actually I'm quite happy with the slick look of it um, here we have the grip which as I said is about as tall as the receiver so that a receiver is way too tall but it does have the standard mag release and the magazine that has the uh, plate on the bottom. So it is a tiny mag. Uh, I'm not too sure how many rounds it holds. It can't be too much though since it is quite small. Uh, here you have the fire selector, which right now it's on safety. Then that's semi-automatic and full automatic. So it's on the other side as well, but it's not really um, too well colored, but it does function. So. We have these pieces on the sides, which I believe are for creating more space on the inside for mechanisms. Um, depending on how the mechanism on the MP9 actually works, uh, that's what I'm guessing it is though, since um, they are kind of empty spaces. There would be no other reason to have them. So, there's the working trigger. Of course, no working safety because there's no way of getting it in there. But trigger is really comfortable and nice. Trigger guard. Nothing too special. The grip, which was actual hell. Um, so, <clears throat> I did decide to use hinge pieces on the inside here. And then one um, hinge piece here to try to connect the grip. And it was a pretty bad idea, but it does look better than having Technic pieces um, right here. So, it does work. It is still really quite sturdy. And uh, it also looks good. It's sagging a bit in the front, but don't worry about that. This is the finger guard, so if you're holding it like this, or if you're holding it like this, if you don't have grip on, um, your hand doesn't get blasted by the muzzle brake, which is just made with a tire. Uh, so I do realize that um, the front is a bit uh, weird looking because um, the receiver is too tall, so it pretty much looks like an MP7's front part, which I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> but... Um, the good thing is, you can always fix this with attachments. So, here we have the suppressor, which is just a standard suppressor, nothing too special, just a bunch of slopes. 
but it does add uh, a lot to the look of the gun because it now resembles the TMP uh, a lot more. Um, if you played Counter Strike and all that, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But it does look really cool. Uh, it does add it in quite a bit of weight in the front, though, so I don't really um, like it too much. But it's there. Um, we have some rails on the sides here <clears throat> with this weird piece, which I have no idea what it's supposed to be. But you can mount some stuff on the sides. As well as on this side, and of course on top, uh, it's occupied by the um, red dots. Um, so I believe these pieces are uh, the same design as the Glock, where you would pull um, both of the tabs down and then take off the top receiver. Um, that's at least how I think the field strip is, I, if I do remember correctly. But... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really too much to it since it is just a standard um, MP9 submachine gun, just nothing too special, just no stock, and a permanent um, red dot sight. So, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, even though it is quite um, badly proportioned. Um, but I did do my best with this, um, and I am really happy with the way this turned out regardless of it being a bit um, obnoxious, but <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'll see you guys, goodbye.